Hey you guys, it's Amelie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am participating in something that I've never done before, and that is a 24-hour readathon. For those of you who are not familiar with the term, a readathon is a period of time in which you're trying to get as much reading done as possible. So in my case, in the next 24 hours, I will be trying to read as many books as possible. A few weeks ago, friends from work invited me to participate in a readathon. And since I've never done that before, I figured it would be a fun uh, idea to just film my experience. So for the next 24 hours, I will be attempting to read uh, without interruption. Uh, of course, I will be doing other things, but I'm trying not to sleep for the next 24 hours, which will be quite the experience because I'm not a fan of coffee. Sorry. Um, but um, yeah, so I just took a nap. I woke up like five minutes ago, maybe 15 at the most. Sorry if I keep looking back there, that's where my alarm clock is. Just want to make sure I don't miss the midnight um, landmark. So yeah, this readathon will be quite the experience and I'm excited and ready to attempt this. Uh, if I end up falling asleep, that's fine, but I'm trying not to sleep so I can read as much as possible. So to make things more interesting, I thought I would give this readathon a theme. Um, this is my first one and uh, I just wanted to make it special, I guess. So instead of just reading random books on my TBR, which I could have done, I wanted to make this even more interesting than it already is and um, add a little theme to it. So I tried many things. I wanted to find a perfect theme for this first readathon. And after going back and forth with different options, I finally had an epiphany and I found the perfect theme in my opinion and I'm just so happy that I picked that up. <laughs> so. Uh, without further ado, the theme for this first readathon is da -da -da -da, Disney themed books. So I am a big fan of Disney, and I think a lot of you guys probably are too. So for this first readathon, I am reading uh, solely Disney inspired books. So without further ado, I'm just going to present quickly my TBR. Um, actually, the books that I picked up for this uh, readathon, I have a bunch of them, so we're just going to go quickly through them. The first one that I have here is A Whole New World by Liz Braswell. In this novel, Aladdin is still a street rat, Jasmine is still about to enter a um, arranged marriage, but uh, everything suddenly changes when Jafar uh, rises to power. In this story, it's basically what if Aladdin never found a lamp? Um, Jafar is the one who finds a lamp, he gets his wishes, but he still has one to spare and um, Jasmine and Aladdin must stop him before it's too late. So I'm super excited about this one because it's probably like one of the only Aladdin uh, themed books that I ever found. Aladdin is one of my favorite Disney movies so I'm so excited for this one. Next up we have um, Once Upon a Dream by Liz Braswell as well. Um, this is obviously a uh, Sleeping Beauty retelling in uh, Once Upon a Dream, uh, Aurora does fall asleep under the curse, but um, she has to she has to escape another uh, castle of uh, thorns and navigate a dangerously magical landscape created from her very own dreams. What I like about this one is uh, Sleeping Beauty has to wake herself up instead of having like the prince wake her up. It, Aurora has to find her way back. This is kind of like a feminist sort of book, which I like. So very excited for this as well. Um, then we have As Old As Time by Liz Braswell as well. So as you can see, the first two, well, the first three books that I just presented are a series. Um, they're, they're called Twisted Tales. So basically the author uh, gives her own take to popular uh, Disney stories. So in As Old As Time, uh, Belle is captured by the Beast. But um, when Belle touches the beast's enchanted rose, uh, she sees images of many things, including her mother, um, who she never thought she would see again. Stranger still, she sees that her mother is none other than the enchantress who cursed the beast. So excited for this one. Beauty and the Beast is my favorite uh, childhood uh, movie, so I'm very, very pumped for this. Next up, we have Lost in a Book um, by Jennifer Donnelly. So it's a, uh, it's another Beauty and the Beast inspired story. In this one, um, Belle finds a book in the library and, and she's transported into its world. Uh, she meets new people. She's literally transported to the world, so she meets new people, uh, she makes new friends, and eventually she has to make a choice whether she wants to stay in the new world she is in 
or uh, she has to find a way back to the castle as soon as possible. So, sounds very intriguing and exciting, so I'm really pumped for this one. And the next four books that I'm about to present are um, not retellings, but they are backstories of famous Disney villains. First up, we have Ferris of All by Serena Valentino, which is a uh, take on the evil queen from Snow White. Then we have The Beast Within, also by Serena Valentino. This one is obviously another Beauty and the Beast novel. And this one, Dive Deeper into the Beast's Past. Then we have Poor Unfortunate Soul, also by Serena Valentino. Um, and this is a novel about um, Ursula and her um, backstory. And last but not least, we have Mistress of All Evil, which is a Maleficent um, book. So all of these are like the backstories of the famous villains that I just mentioned. Very excited for these. And also, can we talk about how pretty all of these covers are? Like, oh my god. <laughs> so now it is 11.50. I'm gonna get ready to start reading. Obviously, I'm not planning on reading all of these. I just wanted to have as many options as possible. So I could switch things up if I didn't enjoy um, the Twisted Tale series. So I'm going to start off with A Whole New World because I'm, oops, I almost fell on my lap. A Whole New World because this is probably the one that I'm most excited about because it's Aladdin themed. So I'm so excited. I'm just going to set up and let's start reading. It is now officially midnight. So it's reading time. Let's do this. quite what I had expected and what I am enjoying it I feel like I'm not making much sense right now it's probably because I've only had like an hour of sleep <laughs> before I started this um, I'm honestly thinking of like taking a quick nap after I finish this I'm gonna try to finish this first I have like a hundred pages or so left to read I'm probably gonna finish off at around like 4 4 30 in the morning I'm not sure yet and then I'll probably nap until like 7 or so just not necessarily like the full eight hours of sleep that I would normally require, but, you know, at least get a little bit of sleep because I am weak <laughs> and I need sleep, like, so badly. If I were alone in this house, I would probably just go up and make myself a cup of coffee, even though I don't like coffee. But as I'm not alone and, like, I would wake my parents up if I did that, we're gonna forego the coffee for now. So it is now... 4.35 a.m. Sorry if I'm whispering. People are sleeping in my house. I hope you can hear me. Um, but I just finished reading A Whole New World um, by Liz Braswell. And while I did enjoy the book, I'm still not sure how I feel about it in the sense that I feel like there were like a lot of plot holes and just things that did not make much sense or things just felt rushed. I'm not quite sure how to describe like how I feel about this. I also feel like I was reading about the, the characters that I knew, but it wasn't them, you know? Like Jasmine and Aladdin, they just seemed so different in the book than they did in the movies. I will like give you a bit a better review once I've slept a little bit because I have decided that I will sleep a little bit. Like I'm starting to get like a sort of headache and um, I'm feeling a bit sick so I think I should just go to bed for a little while I'm thinking like maybe until 8 a.m. just so I can be a little bit more rested and actually enjoy this experience <laughs> hey guys um, it is now 752 
a.m. which means that I've slept for like three hours. I woke up on my own which is like surprising because I had set my alarm for like eight. So I actually woke up. Surprising like I said. Um, so I am about to dive in to my next book um, and instead of reading the rest of the Twisted Tale trilogy I wanted to switch things up a little bit, so I'm going to read Ferris of All by Serena Valentino. These books are just so pretty, and look at the inside! Like, uh, honestly you guys, this is amazing. So impressed. So these books are like a little bit thinner. This one is like 200 pages, 250, yeah 250. So this should be quick or quicker read. and I just finished reading Ferris of All by Serena Valentino and I really enjoyed it. Um, it reminded me a lot of like Regina from Once Upon a Time. Actually it makes me want to rewatch the show which is not a good idea because I was obsessed with this show when I was a teenager I guess I'll say. And um, I watched like the first three seasons in like two weeks so yeah this is not a good idea. <laughs> but I really enjoyed Ferris of All and uh, it is an interesting take on the evil queen like it's so I don't know I guess it's so uh, insightful to see like what she went through really enjoyed the story and you could really like understand her and what she's been going through and like how she became evil or wicked or whatever you want to call her so I highly enjoyed it and I'm very excited to dive into the rest of the series. I think I might actually pick up uh, The Beast Within, so the next one. Actually right now, before I actually move on to the next book, I'm just going to go grab something to eat because I haven't had anything to eat in the last like, I was going to say 12 hours, that's not true because I did have um, like dried fruit <laughs> at some point uh, last night. So it is now 10.30 and I'm feeling a bit uneasy, like not sick but I'm not feeling the best so I think I'm just gonna go watch a Netflix uh, TV show or movie and it's gonna be Disney themed of course I'm not sure what I'm gonna watch yet because there are so many uh, well actually there aren't that many uh, Disney options on Netflix Canada so I guess we'll see So I have finished uh, watching Tangled. It is now 12.15 and um, I think I'm going to go grab lunch before I start reading The Beast Within by Serena Valentino. Sorry for the weird lighting. I'm in my basement because I was getting a bit claustrophobic in my room. So I had to like turn on the overhead light. <laughs> anyway, um, it's reading time. So excited to start this one. Uh, I read the excerpt, well, yeah, and um, I read the summary, and it looks really good, and Beauty and the Beast is like my favorite uh, childhood uh, Disney movie, so this girl's excited. and I just finished reading The Beast Within by Serena Valentino 
It is so good. I really liked it. Uh, I'm very picky when it comes to when it comes to Beauty and the Beast related stuff. Like since it's my childhood favorite movie, I am very difficult. <laughs> I guess I have very high expectations, and this one is so good. Um, I do have to admit that there were like many sexist remarks, which made me like so pissed off at the prince. But everything, it made sense with the story, I guess, and the character. And um, anyway, I will give you more in-depth thoughts at some point. But uh, as of now, I really enjoyed it. And um, I'm so excited for the next one, which is Poor Unfortunate Soul. Um, once again, by Serena Valentino. And it is starring um, Ursula, the sea witch, as you can see. I'm very excited. I think I'm going to dive into it, like, right away. I'm really enjoying those little villains um, books. Um... I didn't think I would enjoy them as, that much. I have to admit that when I read reviews on Goodreads, a lot of people were like disappointed and stuff. But honestly, they're like short but really good. And I feel like it really, I don't know, it really goes well with the Disney movies. Like it goes end in end, in my opinion. Like they, they really captured the essence of the characters really well. And um, I love how it's because now you see uh, with Beauty and uh, the Beast Within, uh, you can see the link with uh, the previous book, which was uh, Fairest of All, and um, you can even see like where this is going to go with uh, Poor Unfortunate Soul. So you can really start to see the, uh, things as a series, which is so interesting and so fun. And I love how they link all the stories as of now. Um, cannot wait to see where this goes. So it's now uh, 3.30 and I have difficulty concentrating on my book so I decided to switch things up a little bit. I am on page 45 of uh, Poor Unfortunate Soul. So far it's good. But like I said, I, ha I don't know why I'm having trouble concentrating. I don't, it's, I don't think it's because of the book. I think it's really just because I've been reading so much today. I need a little break. So right now I am going to watch uh, the live action movie of Beauty and the Beast because I don't know. I I really like this movie, and Beauty and the Beast is one of my favorites, so as I read the the book, uh, The Beast Within, earlier today, I just feel like it's fitting. Hey you guys, so it's now 6 o'clock, and I had dinner, I finished uh, watching uh, the Beauty and the Beast live action movie, and now I'm about to dive in Poor Unfortunate Soul. Uh, my goal is to finish this book, and maybe if I have time, I'd like to finish um, the last book in the Villain series by Serena Valentino. So I think the last one is called Mistress of All Evil, the one about Maleficent. So it is now 8.32. I finished reading uh, Poor Unfortunate Souls um, eight, like maybe half an hour ago. I took a shower and um, now I am uh, currently purchasing books <laughs> online. Oops. But uh, they, they had a sale at Indigo on uh, YA novels. Like they had 30% off on like a lot of novels. So I just figured that I would uh, replenish my uh, stacks of books, <laughs> my TBR, I guess. I don't know. I am buying them. Uh, I'm just going to show you what I'm buying. First up, we have, is it going to focus? Yeah. Eliza and her Monsters um, by Francesca Zappia. I've heard so many great things about this one and I'm very excited for this. Then there's Hazelwood by uh, Melissa Albert. I'm sorry if it's not focusing. <laughs> um, once again, I've heard lots of things, about, great things about this one. And last but not least is American Panda by uh, 
think it's Gloria something. I'm not sure what the author's last name is. I think it's Zhao or something like that. I'm trying to get, read more diverse books and this one seems really interesting so I am excited for this one too. As for um, Poor Unfortunate Soul, I did like it but it is not my favorite out of the bunch. I feel like it was more like a filler novel. We didn't really see Ariel or anything so I was kind of disappointed with that. But I am excited to read the last novel in the villain series as of yet and that is Mistress of All Evil by uh, Serena Valentino. And can we talk about that cover? Like, first off, this is gorgeous, but look at this. I'm in love. Like, this is the dragon. Like, I'm just totally in love with it. And uh, this is probably the last book that I'm going to read tonight because it's like 8.30 and I have maybe about four hours left before the end of the readathon. So we can do this. Actually, it's three hours and a half. So, um, yeah, I am excited. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to finish this off, but I need to like stop talking and actually start reading. <laughs> just finished reading um, Mistress of All Evil by Serena Valentino. It was so good. Um, but now I think I'm just gonna end the readathon here. I mean, I know I still have like half an hour left, but I don't think I can actually like read another book in half an hour. And um, I'm actually just really tired and want to go to bed. I only have like three hours of sleep in my body, so I think I deserve a little sleep. Good night. Hey you guys, so it's now a few days later and I thought it would be a good idea to wrap things up nicely by recapping my experience and giving you a few statistics on the overall experience. So during this 24 hour readathon, I read a grand total of five books. Uh, the first of which is A Whole New World by Liz Braswell. This book has 376 pages and I uh, gave it three out of five stars. The second book that I read during this 24-hour readathon is Ferris of All by Serena Valentino. Uh, this book has 250 pages and I gave it 4 out of 5 stars. The third book that I read during the readathon is The Beast Within by Serena Valentino. This book has 215 pages and I gave it 4 out of 5 stars. The fourth book that I read during this 24-hour readathon is Poor Unfortunate Soul by Serena Valentino. This book has 196 pages and I gave it 3 out of 5 stars. The fifth and last book that I read during my readathon is Mistress of All Evil by Serena Valentino. This book has 309 pages and I gave it 4 out of 5 stars. So to sum it up, during this readathon I read a grand total of 1,346 pages. This is completely astonishing to me because I never thought I would end up reading as much, especially since most of the books from the villain series were quite short. So overall I had a really nice experience. I was able to reach both of my goals during this readathon. The first one was reading over a thousand pages and I read way more than that. Never thought that would happen but hey, I'm not complaining. And second of all, I uh, completed a series. I thought at first that I would uh, read the Twisted Tale series by Liz Braswell but I guess I just ended up changing my mind and reading the villain series which is just as good because I really enjoyed it. The only thing that I'm disappointed in though is that I slept. Actually I slept a grand total of three hours. It's not as bad as I thought it would be because when I went to sleep I thought for sure that I would end up sleeping like eight hours non-stop but I only slept like three hours. I was still able to read a lot throughout that day so overall I'm not that disappointed in the fact that I slept. But the next time for sure I'm going to try not to get any sleep at all and just read as much as possible because I think if I hadn't slept I would have been able to fit in another book. But hey, I, overall it's still a great success in my opinion and I really like the experience. Overall I had so much fun with this experience and I will definitely be doing another one later on this summer. So if you guys would like to participate in that, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to make that happen. I'll try to find like a Saturday during the summer where we can all do this together. I think it would be a lot of fun to have other people to do this with. 
uh, we can all have different uh, TBRs, it doesn't have to be a team for everyone because I think it would have been a much more enjoyable experience for me if I'd had other people to share this with so I will definitely let you guys know if I'm doing another one I'll try to announce it a few days before on my social media so you guys can get ready for it so I guess that's it for this readathon I hope you guys enjoyed, if you did please make sure to give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments below if you'd like to participate in a future readathon with me and uh, make sure to subscribe if you're not already also make sure to follow me on insta and twitter the handles as usual are going to be down here and i guess that's it and i'll see you guys in my next video bye